As always, it's a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in sodash for at least 20 minutes and then spun out in the washing machine until it's just damp. It's already been flipped inside out and the center line has already been marked. So I'm going to go ahead and do the usual um, start for the fold for a left-right symmetrical design. You could just do a regular scrunch on this and I think it would work out. Uh, I'm just looking for something that has some symmetry to it this time. Alright, now I'm just going to scrunch this up and then tie it up. Just a simple symmetrical scrunch and off to die. Alright, I'm going to be using Chinese red, deep orange, lemon yellow, bright green, bluebird, and amethyst, and these are all from Dharma. These have all been mixed up as liquids into a small needle bottle and there's a link to this in the description below. I'm going to do each color and then I'm going to wait about 30 minutes and then go to the next color each time doing both sides and then when everything's done we'll soak it in black. So let's start with the first color. Okay, so the first one was red. I'm going to go with yellow and then blue, just in case it looks like there's too much on it. So that I have the primary colors, and then if there's extra room, I'll fill in. So, made that decision. So, let's go ahead and do yellow this time. sit for another 30 minutes or so and then go on to the next color. All right, let's go with blue. All right, made up a liquid. It's a combination of better black and raven black, and both of these are from Dharma. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to this. And then I'll just pour the liquid into this. Actually, let's pour that out and do this.
and I'll let that sit for oh probably 18 more hours, maybe 24, and then we'll do the washout. It's been about 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and rinse this through. Okay, it still looks like a solid black shirt, but I am hoping that changes with the washout to all the colors. We shall see. Off to wash. So here's the result. This did not end up the way I thought it would, and that I was hoping it would. Go ahead and show the back. There we go. My goal here was to make an easier version of the shaving cream shirt that I did that last time that everybody was calling a graffiti look. I was hoping to pull that off with a much easier method that doesn't require the shaving cream. Um, or the reverse dime. Yeah, that, that didn't work. So this is what I have. I probably should have left this in the black a shorter length of time. Um, then I would have more details in here. I don't think the colors would have lasted because they really should have bonded in that length of time and prevented any intrusion with the black. Um, I am seeing a face in here uh, on my monitor. Not sure if it's actually coming through on the video. I don't see it in person though. It's, it's pretty dark in person. Uh, the camera's adjusting a lot. And then definitely another um, face of some sort here. It looks like it might actually have some horns up here. But again, I'm not seeing it so much in person as I am on the monitor in front of me. So... So I might actually redo this one by reverse dyeing a black shirt with the OWB and then trying a very similar method of the colors. Uh, with the needle bottles over the top, that might actually give me that graffiti look I'm looking for. I might try that. That might be another video. So, um, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that might be a good idea? Um, <laughs> it can't be any worse than this. And until next time, thanks for watching.